With the Osmo 360 dual lens camera, DJI directly competes with the Insta360 X5, which doesn't only look different from the outside, but also differs in terms of hardware, features and image quality. The standout hardware feature of the DJI Osmo 360 is its custom 1 over 1.1 inch square CMOS sensor that captures 2x4K video, which results in native 8K video up to 50fps. The sensor removes the unused areas on both sides of a rectangular 1-inch sensor, so the effective area for capturing 360-degree footage is exactly the same as that of a rectangular 1-inch sensor. The Insta360 X5 on the other hand has a 1 over 1.28 inch rectangle sensor, which results in using roughly 2x3000 pixels to capture panoramic video and upscaling it to 8K with a maximum frame rate of 30 frames per second. Due to the sensor design, the Osmo 360 also has a more compact form factor and weighs 183 grams, while the X5 has a longer rectangular shape weighing 200 grams. Both devices can record files onto a micro SD card, although the Osmo 360 comes with internal storage of 105GB, making a memory card optional. Each camera features a quarter-inch screw thread on the bottom to mount selfie sticks and tripods from each brand or third-party manufacturers that become invisible due to the positioning right between the two lenses. Additionally, DJI has implemented the Osmo Quick Release Mount, making it compatible with a multitude of gear so the camera can be attached or removed quickly. The main difference in image quality, especially noticeable in contrasty environments or in low light, comes down to the different types of sensors. The Osmo 360's 1 over 1.1 inch square sensor has a pixel size of 2.4 micrometer and the X5's 1 over 1.28 inch rectangle sensor features 1.2 micrometer pixels when recording 8K panoramic video. It's possible to record in 10-bit H.265 with a normal color profile and D-Log-M in 10-bit in almost all modes on the Osmo 360, allowing for more flexibility in post when it comes to color correcting the image. The X5 is limited to 8-bit H.265 compression with standard color and iLog is only available up to 5.7K 60p. Both cameras allow for full manual exposure control, but also automatic exposure and white balance, which usually works best, especially when filming outdoors with changing light. When comparing the 8K panoramic video quality in bright and contrasty environments, the Osmo 360 seem to preserve more detail in overexposed areas, which is something that will occur when half of the camera or one lens is facing a darker direction like shade. The X5 also seems to have overall less image detail, especially noticeable in corner areas. A low light mode with adaptive noise reduction can be found as Super Night on the Osmo 360, with the X5's pure video feature having the same maximum resolution of 8K 30p available when filming in dark environments or at night. Unsurprisingly, the Osmo 360 has a better noise performance, but also holds up well regarding dynamic range, especially when it comes to light sources. Single lens mode is available on both devices, which enables either one of the lenses to record video. 5K with an aspect ratio of 16x9 and 4x3 up to 60fps can be captured with the Osmo 360, while the X5 offers 4K up to 60fps in 16x9 and 9x60. When it comes to capturing sound, both cameras have internal mic capsules, but are also compatible with external microphones. DJI also supports dual microphone connection with their own series of microphones, including the Mic Mini and Mic 2, which means there's no receiver needed or any kinds of cables. Insta360 also offers a wireless solution called the Mic Air. Recording time varies depending on the mode, but is possible when filming panoramic video up to 100 minutes continuously with one battery in 8K 30p on the Osmo 360 and roughly 2 hours when enabling endurance mode. 
The X5 can record for 90 minutes at 8K 30fps and up to 115 minutes in 8K 24p when switching to endurance mode. It's good to see some competition in the 360 degree camera market, especially when it comes to the sensor design, the resulting improvement in image quality, but also the more compact camera body.